Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and this week I'll be going limit velocity over lifetime. So without further ado, let's begin. Now the starting particle system that I'm using for this week is similar to the previous videos where I've zeroed out the transform, uh, I changed the size of the particles and how many of them are being emitted, and then I just made it a simple point emitter uh, as usual. So then we can see a little bit more clearly what's happening with limit velocity over lifetime. So let's turn that on and immediately you can see that um, the particles are moving a lot more slowly than they are than they were before. And that's basically the general idea of limit velocity over lifetime. It limits how fat, how quickly the particles can move. Um, and that's basically determined by this number here, the speed. So since our starting speed is about five, um, this will limit the speed of the particles to one no matter um, where they are, where they're being emitted from. So that's pretty nice, and if you increase the speed, you can see that um, it's increasing the limit of how fast the particles can go. And if you decrease it, they won't go anywhere. So there you go. Uh, dampen is basically how much of a slowing force is being applied to the particles. You can kind of see um, what it does if, I, if you change the values around a little bit. So for 0.5, you can't really tell much of a difference, but if you do like 0.01, you can see that it's not slowing down the particles as much, and it's kind of slowing them over time instead of immediately. So as you can see, they're spawning, and they're moving very quickly when they first spawn, and then they're slowing down as they um, kind of reach the end of their lifetime. So that's pretty nifty and neat to use. Um, you can also use... Uh, basically determine how, how quickly the particles are going to be, how much their speed is going to be limited by um, curves. So you can just uh, see right here that you can do that. You can do random between two curves, you can do constants, basically all the other stuff that we've kind of been playing with the entire time. Um, so that's pretty nifty. Another thing that you can do is you can um, kind of limit the velocity of a particle um, by axis, and the, basically what that does is that um, limits the velocity of a particle according to a particular axis. So if you just wanted to slow it down on the x-axis, you can do that. Um, and then just leave the other ones basically alone. Um, so if that actually won't leave it alone because that's saying its velocity should be zero. So let's put it back to its pace speed. So as you can see, the particles are being limited in their um, x-axis. So that's pretty nifty and neat to use. Um, so what kind of things can you do with limit velocity over lifetime? Well, right here you can kind of see like a shape being formed, and you can kind of create different weird little shapes with your particles um, using limit velocity over lifetime. That's kind of the only thing that I've used it for. I haven't really used it very much, but it's there if you want to use it. Um, so let's see if we can mess around with it a little bit. Let's change our starting speed to a little bit bigger. And right now you can see, you can see the particles are basically forming um, just lines kind of straight through, um, diagonally through each axis, and that kind of looks neat. Um, let's see what else we can do. Let's reset the speed, and then uh, let's do a curve. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So another interesting thing that you can do is you can kind of give um, each axis a different uh, curve, and that'll create kind of interesting shapes. So you can see right here, there's these like little curve, almost sine and cosine waves um, appearing. So that's pretty fun to do. Um, and then depending on what your curves look like, that one isn't very interesting, so let's just change it back. Um, but yeah, depending on um, what kind of curves you use for each axis, you can create different kind of weird, interesting shapes for particle effects. Um, but yeah, overall limit velocity over lifetime is kind of a very, very, very specific um, variable for particles to have. It's basically only used when you want to ch achieve a very specific effect. Um, like I said, I've only used it before to create like weird little shapes. I haven't really used it in some of the more common particle effects, but again, it's there if you need it. Um, that's about it for this week's video. It's a little short, uh, sorry for that, but that's about all I have to say for limit velocity over lifetime. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll uh, see you guys next week.